Uh, Art was in World War II in a uh, B-24, on a B-24 in combat. So please, Art, could you, could you tell us a story, please? Oh, I love that. I had the unusual experience. I couldn't wait to get into combat because I knew as an American that we were going to fight a war as early as 1936 when the Olympics was in Germany. Jesse Owens from Cleveland was was in the Olympics and he didn't get the glory he deserved. And the American Legion in Cleveland started a group called Billy Mitchell Squadron, which was kids in high school, and we were training to be in service. When war broke out, I tried to uh, volunteer in the Canadian Air Force, but I didn't have a college education, so they turned me down. When war broke out in December, I volunteered this time, but my folks, because my brother had been drafted, didn't want me to leave. But in January, I convinced them that I was going to be drafted, so I volunteered for the Air Force. And they trained me. Uh, but the problem was so many people had volunteered in 1942 that they couldn't take me in until April. And they brought me in and they swore me in. Then they didn't have room for me. Uh, I stayed in the uh, home until August. People don't realize before the war we had the Air Force and the Army was so small we had less people in Romania in service. So between 1940, uh, 1939 and 1942, we had to build all the air bases, all the deals. We had to get places for, and people volunteered for service, but they had no room for them. So a lot of us waited. In August, I went into service. And I trained as a bombardier, first as a pilot, washed out for reckless flying, which is another story. And then I trained again for a bombardier, and I trained in the United States until the end of 1943. Then I went over to Italy with the 15th Air Force in B-24s, and on my 13th mission, I was hit over Austria. Uh, my wound was a head wound. They had taken flak in my skull, and they took my flak out, but they also took some of my brains out, so I couldn't fly anymore. And they decided to reclassify me and asked what I wanted to do. I said, well, I'm a nosy guy. I want to be an intelligence officer. So poof, I became an intelligence officer. That's fantastic.